Love is goosebumps and butterflies, red roses, and a physical feeling that tells me this is the one. <laughs> that was before my faith journey. Let's start. Hello everyone, I am Joelle, I'm a Christian life coach and I'm here to help you with faith content, life advice, self-development, whatever God put on my heart to coach you on. I have an announcement at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Uh, what is love and how did it change? Well, the question changed to from what is love to where is love? Before my faith journey, I thought love was all about red roses and all about feelings and emotions and, um, you know, gifts and flowers and all that stuff and physical feelings and physical emotions. But then with my faith or with my walk with Jesus or after my walk with Jesus or when I started that walk with Jesus, the question changed to where is love? From what is love? to where is love. To know what is love, I need to know where is love. Love is found in the Bible. I personally believe that love is found in the Bible. Why love is found in the Bible? Because Jesus Christ loved us first. If I want to love my partner, if I want to love that other person the right way, I need to know how God loved me and how much He loves me. And to know this, where do I find that? In the Bible. Also, the Bible instructs us to love others the way we love ourselves. So God loves us, we love others the way we love ourselves, and we love God the way He loves us. So the Bible is all about love and teaches us how to love others the way God wants us to love. Love that is found in the Bible is unconditional love. It's the agape love. It is the love that, uh, it's the true meaning of love. And that is why love is found in the Bible. The other day I was talking to someone who mentioned that one of the saints was Jesus' favorite. And I'm like, but the Bible teaches us otherwise. Um, the Bible does not teach us that Jesus has a favorite. He loves us all unconditionally. He loves us all with his, with this agape love, with this love that us human beings, we need, we, we can't get there, to be honest. We cannot get to the love of Jesus. My Bible teaches me that the, Jesus the Most High doesn't think like us and doesn't feel like us. We might defer a child from another, a mother might defer, defer her children, um, a dad might also distinguish between his children, but our Heavenly Father does not distinguish. He loves us all equally no matter what, and this is the love that we need to learn about from the Bible. And the Bible also teach us about other love stories, uh, Boaz and Ruth, Abraham and Sarai, Isaac and Rebecca. Joseph and Virgin Mary. And one thing in common between all these love stories in the Bible, you know what it was? It was obedience to the Word of God. It was that Boaz and Ruth already had God in their life. Abraham and uh, Sarai as well. Joseph and Virgin Mary as well. They already had God in their life and they had obedience to the Word of God. So today when you ask me, what is love? I tell you, love is obedience to the word of God. And where is love? Love is in the Bible. I'm gonna talk to you about a quick story in the Bible. We all know about it, Joseph and Virgin Mary. We all know the story about Joseph and Virgin Mary. And um, you know that Joseph, when he found out uh, about Virgin Mary, he didn't understand what was happening and he wanted to, uh, put Virgin Mary away. But then he received a message from the angel of God. And you know what Joseph did? In Matthew, we learn that Joseph woke up and did as the angel of God commanded him to do. Joseph obeyed the word of God. 
Now in Luke 138, we read about Virgin Mary, who also didn't understand. We read that after the angel of God appeared to Virgin Mary, here's what she said. Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be according to your word. Virgin Mary also obeyed the word of God. And how many times you and I and we don't understand our love stories? How many times we do not understand what is happening? And how many times the Lord speaks to us? So many times. So many times. And that's why we need to obey the word of God and we need the Bible to learn about what is truly love. How many times we receive a message from the Lord telling us this is not the right person, but we stick to it. We want that right, right, right person. We want that right person, even though this person is toxic and even though this person does not treat us well, but God is giving you that message. But if you don't have God first in your life, before anything, even in your love story and you don't obey the word of God, you will never understand his message. At the same time, sometimes God put in front of us a right person, the good person that we should um, have that love story with, but we don't like them because we're still thinking about that other toxic person that we want them. And this is also a message from God that we ignore because we don't have God first in our life and our love story. We will cannot obey the word of God if God is not in our story. In all the love stories in the Bible, they had two things in common. God in their life first, so they were able to obey the words of God and to obey his voice. So now if I tell you love, love is not about red roses and not about gifts and not about a kiss and not about physical attraction. It is not. It is about obeying the word of God. And remember, this is someone you're going to spend your entire life with. That love story. And let me tell you this. If you both have God in your life and you both have a close relationship uh, with God. And here I'm not talking about Sunday church. Uh, just going to church on Sunday. No, I'm talking about your priority. God is your priority. You go to God for anything, even to ask him if this is the right person or not. If you both have, um, I was talking in one of my videos last week about fear of the Lord. If you both have fear of the Lord, if you both fear the Lord, and here, when we fear the Lord, we walk on his commitment, we follow his commitments, we follow the promises, we declare the promises, we go back to God, we obey the voice of God, we obey the word of God, okay? This is the fear of the Lord. If you both have the fear of the Lord, you can have a beautiful, a beautiful love story where you both pray together, and this is love. When you both uh, uh, praise together, when you both agree together, when you both communicate together, this is love. And when you both have that relationship with God, you will see love from a, dis a different perspective. Love has no lust. Love has no cheating. Love has no disrespect. Love is not just a physical attraction. Love is not toxic. Love is not um, cussing. And love is not abuse. It's not abusing physical or emotional. This is not love. So if you are in such a love story and relationship, forget about it. Forget about it. Go back to God and have that relationship with Him. So he can bless you and him. Do you know what love is according to 1 Corinthians? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not have envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice that wrongdoing. <laughs> It really doesn't rejoice on wrongdoing. If you love someone and you're doing wrong to them and you rejoice and you just go live your life, this is not love. This is not love. So if you truly love God and you do have love God in your life, you both can have a beautiful, a beautiful love story. And here, I'm not talking about eliminating red roses and eliminating, you know, the physical attraction, feelings and all that stuff. But this is not the priority. This will not last, trust me. It will not last. 
So this week, um, the entire world and nation is going to celebrate Valentine's Day. And as a Christian, I don't celebrate it. Um, I'm in love every single day with God first, my husband second. <laughs> but uh, if you celebrate it, let's, let's look at it from a different perspective. Let's look at it from the Bible perspective and how God truly, truly loved us. And this is how I want to love and this is why, how I expect others to love me. So if you're in a relationship with someone today and he or she is not treating you well, this is not love. Bring God into your relationship. Bring God into your marriage. Bring the word of God into your um, intimate relations. Bring, bring God into this. And obey the word of God because once you obey the word of God, then you can um, take that, you know, that, that, that real emotion for the other person. And you can truly um, love them the way they deserve. Because you will not do them wrong because God will not allow it. You will not do them wrong because God will not allow it. And you will not allow it as well. And that wouldn't be your intention anyways to do them wrong because now you obey the word of God you follow his commandments, um, you declare the word, and you fear the Lord. Today, ask yourself, how am I loving my partner? What is love? Where is love? And the most important question is, do I have God in my love story? Let's pray together. Lord, I pray for every person who is listening to me to first find love in you, to first know how much you love them so they may love the same way. I pray they accept you first in their love stories so they may be obedient to your word, so they may love accordingly. You are not the God of Sunday church. You are not the God of walls. You are not the God of a two minute prayer. You are the God Almighty who teach us, discipline us and rebuke us. May we love you first so we know how to love our partners. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So last um, but not least, a few announcements. In the um, comment below, I have a prayer guide for you. If you click the link and you just enter your email address, you will receive a prayer guide ebook that I made specially for you. <laughs> it is um, it contains how to pray and why we pray and how I learned how to pray and the power of prayers so in the comment below you will find that link click the link enter your email address and you will receive it straight to your mailbox I post every Sunday at 3 p.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if anyone here is watching um, who speaks Arabic, I'm going to start also posting Arabic uh, uh, YouTube videos in Arabic because I do speak Arabic. So that would be on Wednesdays, uh, probably at 12 a.m. We'll see. At 12 p.m., sorry. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what time I'll be posting it, but I will definitely let you know. I go live on Saturdays on Instagram at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, so all of these were Eastern time. So the 3 p.m. was Eastern time <laughs> and the Arabic video is Eastern time as well. So I do go live on Instagram every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. It would be, I will give you the chance to speak because I do talk a lot. <laughs> I'll give you the chance to speak um, if you have any experience you want to bring up or if you have... Um, anything that you want to talk about you can join me during the live and we can talk about that um so these were my announcements i want to wish you a beautiful week ahead until next week i want you to know that god loves you let us do life with him